Journey to the West, Chapter 80, The Small Thunderclap Monastery. One afternoon, Wukong and his companions were resting by a stream. They were eating peaches and berries. We must be getting close to the Western Paradise, said the Tang Monk. We've been traveling for years. I feel like we've been traveling for thousands of years, said Ba Zhe. We still have a long way to go, said Wu Kong. But don't worry. Eventually we'll arrive in the Western Paradise and climb up the Spirit Mountain. Buddha's home, the Thunderclap Monastery, sits halfway up the mountain. The Tang Monk took a bite of his peach. The Thunderclap Monastery must be wonderful to see. The monastery is spectacular, said the monkey. Golden light shines from it. Bajay moaned. So we're going to have to climb a mountain at the end of this journey? Just thinking about that makes me tired. Wu Jing stroked his chin. I really hope the journey ends soon. The pig nodded. You're tired of traveling too? No, said Wu Jing with a serious look. I'm just tired of hearing you complain. Everyone was quiet for a moment. Then Wu Jing's face broke into a smile, and everybody laughed. <laughs> Even Ba Zhe. Very funny, Wu Jing, said Ba Zhe. The Tang monk stood up. We should go. I'd like to find a village or a monastery before dark. A couple of hours later, they were traveling up a mountain road. The road curved around a bend. Ahead, they could see a small monastery. <gasps> the Tang monk gasped. Is that the Thunderclap Monastery? It might be, said Ba Zhe. Golden light is shining from it. It's on a mountain, Wu Jing added. Wu Kong laughed. <laughs> it's not the Thunderclap Monastery. We're not even in the Western Paradise yet. The monkey peered at the monastery for a moment. And then frowned. We must be careful. I see dark clouds over the monastery. The travelers continued walking along the road. Soon they were standing in front of the monastery. A sign over the door read, Small Thunderclap Monastery. Wukong, cried the Tang monk. This monastery must belong to Buddha. Wukong shook his head. It doesn't belong to Buddha. Let's keep walking. Hold on, said Ba Zhe. Golden light is shining from this monastery. It must be an important place. It's not, said Wukong. We should really... We're going in, the Tang monk said. This is a Buddhist monastery. We should visit it. The monk opened the monastery's door and entered. Ba Zhe and Wu Jing followed. Wu Kong sighed and went in after them. This place was definitely not what it seemed. The monkey pulled out his iron bar. The group entered the building's main hall. A large golden statue of Buddha sat before them. Do you see that statue, Wukong? Said the Tang monk. This is a real Buddhist monastery. Suddenly, a voice boomed. Who dares to enter without bowing to Buddha? The Tang monk trembled with fear. Right away, he fell to his knees and bowed. Ba Zhe and Wu Jing bowed. Wukong continued to stand, peering at the statue. It looked very suspicious. Why don't you bow? The voice asked. Wukong, whispered the Tang monk. Show some respect. I won't bow to you, shouted Wukong. I can see that you're really a... Clang! Before the monkey could finish yelling, a large pair of symbols fell from above. They slammed together, sealing Wukong inside. Wukong! cried the Tang monk. Light flashed, 
and the statue turned into a demon with yellow eyebrows. The demon stood up and smiled. The Tang Monk! 